This is the newest train in Canada, and today I'm taking you on board for an exclusive first look of the brand new Via Rail train sets. I'm Mike, welcome to Downey Live. So we're starting our ride today from the historic and beautiful Gare du Palais here in Quebec City, and we're off to Montreal. I love the idea of taking Canada's newest train and starting at one of their oldest stations. And if you look on the right hand side, this is the original ticket booth for the Canadian National Railways. It's now a dentist's office, but they kept the facade. Now our train isn't on the board because we're riding on a test train. So this is not yet open to the public, but it's coming soon. It's a beautiful station, but we're not waiting around in here today. I've never boarded a train when there's no one else here before. There it is. This train is made for Canada. With a plow up front to move snow in our harsh winters, it also has a sandbox which blasts sand onto the tracks in front of the train when it needs extra traction. Additionally, it has a compartment for washer fluid to keep the windshield clean. Best of all, it has a digital display on the outside to let you know which car number it is and the destination of the train. And lastly, they have these new and improved pop-out stairs which can withstand the harsh Canadian winters. Now let's check out the inside. Oh, look at that light. Look at, look at this lighting. New bathrooms, we'll tour that shortly. Let's head in and see economy class through these Star Trek doors. In this economy car right here, we have the wheelchair accessible tables, which have all sorts of fantastic functions, such as raising and lowering the table to the height that you may want around your wheelchair. Also, lights, chargers, plugs. A seat for the support person assisting the passenger in a wheelchair. The train has been designed to be as accessible as possible so that it works for all Canadians. As you go to find your seats, they all have a grab handle with your seat numbers on it in braille. Sit down. You're not gonna beat this legroom in economy on anything. Fold down tray table. Under your right hand is the recline and it's good, it's good. Of course, huge windows with a blind and each seat can put down or pull up the armrests and they each have an outlet. The question is, if we have the whole train to ourselves, why don't we go sit in business class? Luggage racks, but this side is luggage racks that turn in to bike storage. You put your bike tire right there. Vertical bike storage or more luggage racks. Walk in, little galley here, everything's new. It's great, of course, the bathroom. And on your right is what they're calling a privacy pod. People with the divider, so it's a quiet space for you to get work done as a group without disrupting the rest of the business class car. Of course, there's wheelchair accessible seating here, and then the rest is just business class seating. As you can see, business class comes in a two and one configuration, unlike economy, which is a two and two. So you have significantly more space in here. And that means fewer people sitting in the car as well. So it should be a little bit quieter, a little more comfortable. On the two plus two side, they've expanded it. So you're not shoulder to shoulder with the person next to you. You actually have this space in between you for cups or anything else you want to put. But really, it's just a little bit more space between you and your neighbor. But the other little touch that tells you you're in business class is the Veal Rail logo is in black instead of yellow. And on the single side, you also have that extra space for cups or other things. And so you're not right up against the window. Another thing, not that you needed it, but there is more leg room in business class. And another thing I just noticed, not only do you have two outlets with two USB chargers right next to you, you have them again in front of you. That's four outlets, four USB chargers. The final small detail in business class is it has a jacket valet. You know, when you have parkas in the winter, you don't have to keep them at your seat. Oh, we're leaving. That is the smoothest departure I've ever had. I'm not exaggerating for effect. I didn't even notice. This is so quiet. Wow. All right, here we go. The test ride. Now, if you're watching this video, it means that these trains are just about to go into use. This is obviously filmed a few months ago in the winter, just to make sure they'll work through a Canadian winter. It was minus 20 out today. So I think if they can pass this, 
will do just fine. I mean, the river is frozen. And the new trains have Wi-Fi on board. The lights just got darker. It's still really bright in here. Not overly bright, it's just like refreshingly bright for a train. So we're heading out of Quebec City towards Montreal, which means I'm gonna lay back and enjoy the ride as we cruise alongside the St. Lawrence River at sunset. Wow. Like I said earlier, this is a test train, which means there are crew on board, making sure that everything is working as it should before it goes into service. I'm uh, the test train manager. Okay. So I've been working for VIA for uh, nine years. So we tested uh, all the different features. Uh, so from uh, windshield defrosting uh, to, uh, you know, the um, snow plow. Yeah. Uh, all the, the freeze protection system. What about the sand? Did you... Oh, we tried the sand as well. Yeah. yeah. I think it's a priority for VIA now to make their train available for every every Canadian. Yeah. So that's that's one of the, the goal we have. So we're now on the bridge, the loudest portion of this trip. And Richard is testing the decibels of the speaker. For your security, veuillez vous familiariser avec les consignes d'urgence de votre voiture en lisant le dépliant situé dans la pochette du siège devant vous. It's not very loud over the loudest portion of this ride. This is a very quiet train so far. The test we'll be doing is we're going to be triggering a pre-recorded announcement. So this is a bank of announcements that are on board the train. So this will be a generic welcoming announcement that goes over the safety and security aspects of the train ride. So right. just, we'll dispatch this, we'll hear it, and we'll see it on the screens. Yeah, so generally on an older train, you would have had to set the PA announcement to be audible at its loudest point, which then means when it's sitting quietly in a station, that would be much too loud. Yeah, and, the employees got really good at adjusting their own voice projection in order to compensate for, you know, I know this is a loud train, so I'll speak a little bit louder, a little bit closer right. to the mic, or we're stopped somewhere in a right. siding waiting for a freight train to go by, so we'll just back it away a little bit, speak a bit soft. And so. now this system is automatically going to adjust that according to the ambient noise inside the train. Yep, and that'll be true as well for the employees who want to speak directly to the passengers as well in a kind of a off situation. You can still grab the phone, talk to the passengers, but the voice should be regulated in function of the ambient wow. noise as well. Wow, that is so cool. So normally we would stop there, but today's a test train, so we get to cruise on through. Yeah, so in principle, my system should detect that we have skipped over St. Foix. Once we get about 200 meters past the station, it'll exit like the geofence of the station. Right. And so it'll... This will change automatically. It'll change automatically. I was really hoping it would have done it right then. That as would I have pointed. been so good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Fun fact, uh, the voice that's in the trains, it's the same voice that's in the station as well. Uh, her name is Lily. She's a voice actress. She's a uh, Canadian who's living in the States and she's been on all kinds of uh, shows. I think, she's, uh, I think she's been on Grey's Anatomy. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow, to get the announcement just with the soft yet firm enough tone to... And the consistency. We True. wanted to sound... Because we took some takes over several days because we wanted to make some modifications to the content, add some, remove some, re reformulate yep. some phrases. So you're doing it on different days, but you want the consistency to think oh, as right. if it was done all in one session. So you don't hear, you know, big jumps in audio, in, in volume or in tone or in color. Right. It's, it's, it's an wow. art. It's really, really neat to see. Wow. Yeah. The, the details, again, that have gone into this train <laughs> is amazing. Votre attention, s'il vous plaît. Nous ferons un arrêt à Charny dans environ 10 minutes. That's her. Speak. There she is. Hi, Lily. <laughs> <laughs> Well, now that the sun is set, I think there's only one thing left for us to do. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the famous... Oh, that would have worked. That would have been so cool. Bathroom tour. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, we have this spacious, bright, and accessible bathroom. Seems to be a Canadian theme on the wall. Lots of accessibility aids, coat hangers. Oh, a sharps disposal. Sanitary products disposal. Baby change table, very nice mirror, sink, and a monitor. This tells you where you are, just in case you're taking a little long on that, or doing, doing whatever you need to do in the bathroom. That's handy. Pretty cool. Honestly, as far as size and usability, it might be one of the best bathrooms. Well, now that we've seen the accessible washroom in action, Let's see another accessible feature. First thing we do is we open the doors, deploy the steps. So we send one employee down to the platform level, whilst the other employee helps from the top. First of all, 
fantastic that the steps oh, come out on their own now. Absolutely. And for platforms that are a little bit lower in relation to the track, right. we have a step stool as well to help you get onto the train. Right. So we fire up the lift. It swings right out from the, the train. So regardless of what, what side of the train you're on, we're good for the lifts. So wow. me on my end, I release it here, bring it down. The steps automatically retract back in. Oh yeah. He passes the, the, the plate to me. We both lift it up together. Very good teamwork. We invite our passenger onto the lift. Plate goes up. Hold on to anything that's yellow. Your hands are safe there. And here we go. It's going to give a little bit of a kick. Here we come. Wow. So better for the passengers and the operators. Exactly. Streamlining the whole process and allowing more stations to be accessible as well. And once we're at platform level. Amazing. Release. Help our passenger off the, the lift. And away we go. It seems like a much faster, safer system than what was in place before. Well, you think of the, the employees who would have ordinarily had to walk back towards the station to a, little, uh, to a little hut there, unlock the wheelchair lift, walk it all the way back here, right. perform the lift, walk it back, you're taking a station delay here. We just, just in and out as quickly as possible. No kidding. Can yeah. I give it a test up? Absolutely. Okay, don't mind if I do. Ho yeah. Hang on to anything that's yellow. Anything that's yellow, your hands are safe. It's gonna get a little kick when you first start, Okay. but otherwise it'll be good to go. Here we go. Here we go. This is pretty good. <laughs> I mean, that took all of six seconds to get me to the top here. Have a pleasant journey. Thanks, Lucy. It has been a pleasant journey, which I think is my cue to tell you what I actually think of it. It's built to withstand Canadian winters, designed with full accessibility in mind, and is just an all-round quiet and comfortable ride. I honestly think it's the train that Canadians want. Well, I love it, but let me know what you think in the comments down below. I want to thank V-Rail for inviting us on board for this first look, and most importantly, for the staff and crew for doing all the testing and training. And realistically, if you want to find out when this is available and to buy tickets, I'd say go follow Via Rail on social media. They'll let you know when it's coming out. I'm Mike, thanks for watching Downey Live. I don't know where I'm going next, but I know I want you there with me. I'll see you next week.